Welcome back, everybody. I am Emily Schramm, nutritional therapy practitioner and personal trainer and entrepreneur, just really trying to get you to empower yourself with all these fun videos. And I have been using the comments every YouTube on Monday is based off of these. So if you have something you want to see, you have to comment, and I will do it. So this is from Shalimar Rogers. She said, hey, Emily, could you do a video showing a full body rollout sequence? I get a little lost on rolling out. Thanks, and I love your Monday videos. You're so welcome, Shalimar. I love that you're here. And this is a roller, a foam roller. You can use a PVC pipe, which I don't suggest because it's very painful. You can use um, something. I, even when I was at my grandma's, I used a rolling pin, like what she would roll dough with. Uh, also very aggressive. So these are nicer. They're a little bit softer and more pliable. They work with your skin well. But the benefits of foam rolling, which I've talked about many times, but I don't think I've ever put it all in one video, we're looking at muscle and our muscle fibers and how we want to get stronger. We want to see improvements in our lean muscle mass. Higher lean muscle mass means lower body fat percentage. So it's overall better, better for not just body composition, but also linked to our age, which I talked about in a former video, if you want to go look. Um, it's all about how we can help our muscles recover. And when we're looking at building strength, we tend to do repetitive motions and we feel really sore. But one of my best analogies is if you ever watch Michael Phelps swim right before he swims, he's jumping in the pool and he shakes all his muscles. He is so strong and such an athlete, yet his muscles are moving like butterfly wings. It's incredible. And so when you look at strength, it's not stiffness, it's not tightness, it's how malleable and how adaptive your muscles can be. And if they're too tight, you cannot keep them strong. They will be more likely to pull a pull your structure in, in, into a place that will cause injury, and if not feeling injured already or over training already, if you haven't foam rolled, it's just such a necessity. So that's my long tangent about why you should do it. It just quite honestly feels good. So we're gonna start from the bottom up. Actually, you can start with your feet. So uh, I prefer a lacrosse ball for these. Um, my socks actually match for the first time. You can do a lacrosse ball to dig in a little bit more, but if you want, you can just, just use one foam roller, work into the arches of your feet, into that plantar fascia, not fasciitis, plantar fascia, to avoid plantar fasciitis. Um, everything, we're gonna call this the five minute roll. I want you guys all to do this, set a timer for five minutes and work all the way up to your body. So we're gonna go now to our calf. I start really low, cross your leg and lift yourself up. If that's not too intense, you can always start here and move again, thinking of your body, if this is where my muscle fibers live, go perpendicular and then move side to side to kind of dig out those knots. When you find a really painful spot, do not skip it. That's where you hold and breathe for a few seconds, going all the way up to higher calf. And this is where I actually tore my soleus in one of the challenges that I did, um, a really deep tear and it really bothers me. And so what's interesting is I can roll this and it feels fine, but injuries, especially when you look at like calves or quads, um, your body will compensate. So the tighter part of my muscle is right here, even though the injury is right here. So you're trying to find where am I the most tight, and then again, move side to side. That is really tight, but more so on the outside because I'm using that more to avoid using the injured part. And then when we get to the upper hamstrings, I really don't feel tons of benefit in the hamstrings, but what I do feel the best at is when I go to my stomach for my adductors. So now I pull my knee to 90 degrees. I start with that VMO, which is that soccer muscle right there. And I turn my toe in a little bit. And that's always really, really tight for me. And I work my way up inner thigh area. Again, if you have not done this, this is really intense. It almost feels like it's wrong, but I promise you it's good for you. Um, you're just finding a spot, and then once you feel like it kind of released, which might take some time to get to that, you move to the next. The other part of the quad that I love, and this is for my ladies that I've noticed a big difference on, is just this kind of area right here that works on our cellulite, right? So it sounds crazy, but cellulite is just basically part of our lymph and part of our fascia. And so we're trying to dig it out and trying to get it to work out so it's not as noticeable and it does work. Then we move to our glutes. And so our glutes right here, 
pull your leg up to 90 degrees and just move side to side on this. This is actually better with a lacrosse ball, but this can be really effective with this. We're looking at piriformis. So this is, I sit too much muscle. And if we can release that, we can activate our whole posterior chain in ways that we're not used to. So this is the most important, I think, of them all, especially for all the people that are looking at building their glute muscles. And then lastly for quads, on your stomach, and you can just move into hip flexor, a little bit of TFL area. I don't like to do IT band, which is all the way on the side, but this area on the top of the quads is really good to dig into and let your body relax into it. When we move to upper body, we totally are gonna skip our lower back. I avoid doing lower back at all costs. I start mid back. We did a video on this recently. I won't spend too much time on it. Go watch the video. Uh, T-spine here, but then let's turn it and make it for our pull-up muscles, which also allow us to have a better overhead position. This is our lat, and our lat is a very big muscle. So I put my hand overhead, and I try to relax my head into my armpit, and I'm just lifting myself slightly so that I can add more intensity, and I'm working into that area anywhere from here to here. If you can get a tight spot and release that, it's gonna be really healthy for your rotator cuff and for any overhead position. Um, and then last but not least, I think I'm just gonna have you finish uh, with one of my favorites, which is kind of strange, but it's actually a little bit more effective with your knee, but you can also do your forearms. And so when you're looking at forearms and trying to mash anything that's, let's start with the problem wrist issues, wrist mo mobility issues, pain in your wrist, too much handstands, too much pressing, too much bench press, too much front rack, you will be surprised, especially if you type, at the forearms. And so I've always tried to do it this way, but actually the more effective way is to take your arm, it looks really awkward, take your arm and use your knee to now be the lever for the foam, for the foam roller. And you're just finding these really tight, awkward spots. And this is for people that have elbow pain, that have wrist pain. You can obviously dig into triceps too if you have elbow pain. But you're looking at, if I have an issue here, here, or here, let's see what part of the muscle is tight. And so when I'm looking at overall, everyone should foam roll. That's the full body roll for five minutes. But if you're working on a specific injury or if I'm going to do squats, I focus on lower body. If I'm gonna do upper body and pull-ups and bench press, I'm gonna focus on that upper body. Uh, there's lots of ways you can kind of dial it in so you don't have to foam roll for five minutes. But I will say, you cannot strengthen a tight muscle. So lengthen before strengthen, and it allows you to get through those plateaus and those kind of lack of results you might be seeing in your muscle definition. Let's break that up a little bit and see if we can start to bring on more hypertrophy in that muscle because it's no longer as tight. And that is the full body roll. Keep asking questions and I'll keep answering and I'll see you next Monday. Be sure you comment below and subscribe and I'll see you soon.